Okay people, this is himself and welcome to another Tekken 7 Marduk guide. In this video, we're going to take a look at Jackhammer. I'm going to show you setups, properties and OK. I'm also going to show you a 100 plus damage combo related to the subject, so stick around for that. So Jackhammer is forward half circle forward one. It's an 11 frame throw that does 50 damage. Now that doesn't rival King, but it's still pretty good compared to everyone else. It's also a one break and the hands give it away, but Marduk does have other throws to cover that and I will be looking at those in the future. Now on hit we get that chunky damage, but we also get OK and the good thing is that they're at an angle, so when they get up it's in our favour. Now normally people tend to stay down or side roll and that's because it's often the safest option. So to cover that we can use a combination of D4 and D3. D4 will hit both side rolls into a wake up kicks and hit standards. The downside though is that it whiffs against back rolls and people lying still. D3 on the other hand does hit idlers and side roll right. It also still beats wake up kicks but it whiffs against side roll left and back rollers and it can also be blocked by standards. To cover those holes we can use DF42. This is both standards and back rolls. Normally you'd expect back roll to be safe but because of the angle they kind of get a back turn and that's why we get that hit. For a bit more risk but a bigger reward we can use DF3 DF1. This is a natural combo which means that on hit it will launch. Now where this works is against wake up kicks and back roll and the thing is people will back roll so it's definitely worth a try. The downside though is that standards will block it and if they do it's minus 12 so we will get punished. To cover that we can use DF1. This will launch standards and wake up kicks but it whiffs against back rolls. Now if people side roll or stay on the ground then there is some stuff we can do. One option is ground throws. With people lying idle you'll get the mount but against side roll left you'll get the knee strike or the toss up. Sadly side roll right will escape but to cover that we can use F plus 4 or DF1 plus 2. Now the heel drop will do 16 damage and it hits people on the ground. It also hits back rollers and it's safe against standards but wake up kicks will interrupt it. The headbutt also hits back rollers and it's fast enough to beat out wake up kicks. But it whiffs against idlers and it's punishable by standards. Now having all this OK is all good, but what we really need are setups to land the throw in the first place. Sadly Marduk is not a character that has a lot of plus frame moves, but he does have some options. The simplest one is one jab. This puts you at plus one, which means the throw effectively comes out in 10 frames. A variation of this is DF3-1. This puts you at plus two, so it's slightly better. Another plus frame move is 1-2-F plus one. Now on block, this is plus four, so the throw is uninterruptible. The problem though is that it's a three hit string and smart players will sometimes duck the last hit. A better variant of this is 2-1. On block this is plus 3 but it's also his 10 frame punisher so you can go straight into jackhammer. A rare option is while running 3. You won't get many chances to use this move but on block it's plus 6 so you've got plenty of frames to work with. Another rare option is from crouching df4. This is risky because it's minus 26 but on hit it's plus 8 and you have that long stun animation so buffering a jackhammer should be no problem. Now those are the genuine plus frame moves. The two options that you might want to use are D1 and sidestep 1 plus 2. Now these are only 0 and plus 1 but they have a long block animation and what that does is it makes people think that you actually have more plus frames and that makes these worth using when setting up throws. In all these cases people can duck, backdash or sidestep but to cover some of those options we can use back plus 4 and DB2. These come out in 14 frames and 16 frames and they're both safe mids. What's also a good anti duck tool is D24. Both parts are safe and on hit it's plus 7 and plus 5. So this string itself can set up the jackhammer. Now at the beginning of this video I mentioned a 100 plus damage combo and that's what you're going to see here. For those of you who didn't know, 
jackhammer breaks the floor and that means that on this stage we have an 11 frame 50 damage launcher. Now with our walls we can get half bar damage but in the right situation we can take that to 100. You might say that the ground floors are breakable and that's true but in this case it's a proper 50-50 because both options can do the same damage. My next Marduk video will look at wall bounce so make sure you subscribe if you want to see that. Also make sure you follow me on Twitter, there's numerous short clips I upload that don't get a full video and you might be missing out.